Hello everyone, I am Dr. Nambi Rajan, Associate Assistant Professor working in the Petroleum Engineering Department from Mamat University. Today in this video lecture, I am going to explain you about the topic of introduction to petroleum distillation column. It comes under the course Petrochemical and Refining Engineering. The course code is UVBE 708. Distillation, distillation is the process of separating two or more components from a mixture using the boiling points present in the components present in the mixture. So, crude oil refining is an example for refining process. Distillation column, the figure shows the schematic diagram of this distillation column. Distillation column is a vertical cell that comprises inside trays and plates are there. It is attached to the passages on the right side. The passages are there for attaching these unit into some other reaction units like reformer, alkylation unit, cracking units and coker. For example, if the naphtha is converted further into gasoline with the help of a reformer and also medium and heavy oils <coughs> are converted into LPG and gasoline with the help of cracking units and alkylation units. Normally, distillation comprises of three stages namely separation, conversion and then the treatment. So, separation normally the crude oil is sent into the distillation column and separated into these nine products and then they are converted into gasoline, LPG, jet fuel, diesel etc. Then these, uh, for example, nap types can again converted into gasoline using the reformer. So this process calls as treatment or the pro treatment when the distillation process is over. The products of crude oil, we are having some eight certain products on the distillation process. So in the top of the column, we will get the lighter products, and the bottom of the products, we will get some harder products or the boiling point of the products which are at the bottom of the <coughs> column will be higher than the top of the column. So, butane or lighter products are at the top of the top of the column and residual fuel fuel at the bottom of the product. So, the 8 products are namely LPG, gasoline, naphtha, kerosene, diesel, heavy oil and then residual fuel oil. So, distillation process, distillation process, so this is the uh, in this slide, I will explain the working process of the distillation column. Initially, the crude is preheated in a boiler and then the preheated crude is sent to this distillation column and because the why the crude oil is preheated means we have to increase the temperature of the crude oil and then by we are increasing the pressure of the crude oil. Once the pressure and temperature is increased and then it is sent into this column, the pressure gets increased. So, the pressure inside the column is lower than the pressure in preheater. So, the crude oil gets moved as a vapor and upward direction in the fractional distillation column. So, when it is moving the upward direction, it is converted into lighter, uh, lighter fractions in the top of the column and the heavy fraction in the bottom of the column. So, as per the boiling points of the different fractions in the crude oil, the crude oil is converted into some 8 products according to their boiling point. So, in the top of the column, the fractions which are having some uh, lighter uh, boiling point will be at the top of the column and the fractions will be having the lower uh, higher boiling point will be at the bottom of the column. For example, if we are having butane at the top, butane will be having the lower boiling point among all these it is lesser than 85 degree Fahrenheit. So, it is at the top of the column. Gasoline comes after butane likewise residue comes at the bottom of the column. The components of distillation column. So, in this figure we can see the components of the distillation columns. So, there is a vertical shell arrangement on the left and the right top of the column we can see condenser and the bottom reboiler is there and after the condenser there is a reflex drum and then the reflux is going again into the top of the column. So, in the feed column, when we are sending the feed at the middle of the column, the uh, section can be divided into two parts. The top section is called as rectification section and the bottom section is called as the stripper unit. So, once the feed is sent into this middle of the column, there will be some trays inside the column. These trays are there to increase the contact time of the feed and thereby increasing the efficiency of the separation operation. So, once the feed is converted into separated into some other fractions, the top of the column contains the uh, vapor column, vapor. This vapor is again 
went to the condenser. The, in condenser, the vapor gets condensed and it is converted into reflex. The reflex drum is there to save the reflex liquid. The reflex liquid is again sent into the top of the column and again the uh, that uh, process is further uh, uh, what you say the efficiency of the process is increased by using this condenser and reflex drum arrangement is the top of the column and the same wise reboiler is there at the bottom of the column. The reboiler is there to increase the vaporization of the uh, feed. Uh, once the uh, bottom products are coming into the reboiler and the reboiler uh, is there to increase the vaporization of the uh, bottom product hence it is again recycled into the bottom of the column once it is uh, gets the enough enough boiling point it uh, it goes to the top of the column if the boiling point is not enough it will again come into the reboiler and gets vaporized again and it will go to the bottom of the column then it is collected at the receiver the top of the column the products collected are called as distillate product and the bottom of the product the products collected are called as bottoms so these things i have explained already on the diagram we have seen some share vertical cell arrangement and then column internals like trays plates and then a reboiler a condenser a flux dump and the reflex is again recycled into the top of the column the liquid maker enter into the middle of the column and the top of the column is called as rectification unit and the bottom of the column is called as the stripper unit. So, once the feed is enter entering into that with higher pressure, the feed automatically gets pressurized and the lower boiling point uh, products are getting to the top of the column and the and collected into the condenser and then it is recycled into the top of the column and again the lower bottom uh, fluid is going into the recycle uh, reboiler and it is re recycled again to the bottom of the uh, bottom of the distillation column. So, here in this figure we can uh, see that in the figure the tray column at the bottom of the column there is a reboiler as I told earlier the reboiler is there to increase the vaporization of the crude hence in the bottom liquids are having higher uh, boiling points we have to again heat it again to get uh, the required number uh, required boiling point that's, that's then why the uh, uh, conversion process will be happened easily. So likewise condenser and the reflex drum and reflex again therefore the recycling of the reflex into the top of the column types of the distillation column normally there are two types of columns are there tray columns and then packed columns in petroleum industries tray columns are used for the distillation process of the crude oil here we can see inside the vertical shell there are plates or trays are there for the efficient separation process in packed column likewise for plates and trays we are having some package arrangements inside the column Likewise, in tray columns there will be trays or plates, in packed columns there will be packages. As it is not in, used in used much in our petroleum uh, refining industries, we are not much bothered about packed columns in this uh, topic and we are going to see about the tray columns further. So, internals used in the tray columns. Normally, there are three types of internals used in the tray columns. They are sieve trays, valve trays and bubble cap columns. So, in the sieve trays, the sieve tray is a plate arrangement consisting of drilling holes. Uh, the drilling holes are for the passage of vapors that comes through the distillation column. These vapor can pass through this drilled hole that way the, uh, the vapor can get into contact with the liquid that is coming from the top of the column. So, here so valve tray is similar to the sieve tray. In valve tray there will be some valves attached to the top of the drilled holes. When the vapor is coming from the bottom of the distillation column and enters into the into these holes, and the valves gets opened, and these valves are there for uh, in in some uh, crude there will be having some velocity differences are there. So when the velocity difference is higher, we will use this valve tray inside the distillation column just to, to reduce the uh, what do you say flooding and uh, other uh, other things weeping or flooding inside the column. So, to reduce the weeping of flooding we can use wall trays there valves can stop at the uh, top of the uh, these holes to uh, to allow the uh, vapors only when the vapor pressure is higher only the valve will get opened. Bubble cap columns, bubble cap columns contains of risers or chimneys at the top of the 
drilled holes likewise in say sieve trays and valve trays there will be in valve trays the, there will be some valve arrangement on the top of the drills here in uh, bubble cap columns there will be some risers on the top of the holes these bubble caps or risers are there to stop the vapor passage easily through the holes once there is a bubble cap at the top of the tray we can have some more contact time between the vapor and the liquid comes from the top of the column this uh, this forces the gas to bubble through the liquid flowing across the tray the, that's why this is called as bubble cap column okay. wire and down comer each of the above trays also has a wire that maintains the liquid level on the tray the wire maintains the liquid level on the tray and the gas is forced to bubble through the liquid this gives intimate contact between the gas and the liquid likewise down comer as the liquid flows over the wire it enters a down comer a short pipe that carries the liquid down to the tray below the down comer outlet is below the surface of the liquid and the tray below acting as a seal to prevent gas from bypassing the tray above now we have to look at the few factors that will affect the distillation process foaming and entrainment foaming happens when the vapor pressure inside the distillation column is very low hence the vapor is unable to lift the liquid on the top of the tray so when the pressure gets reduced the liquid starts flowing through the holes or the valves that that element is called as foaming and then in entrainment entrainment refers to the liquid carried by the vapor up to the tray above and is again caused by high vapor flow rates so when the vapor flow rate is higher the the fluid gets passed through the holes and the vapor gets lifting the liquid over the top of the uh, trays or plates weeping and flooding weeping is caused by low vapor flow the pressure exerted by the vapor is insufficient to hold up the liquid on the tray therefore liquid starts to leak through preparations flooding flooding is brought about by excessive vapor flow causing liquid to be entrained in the vapor of the column the increased pressure from the excessive vapor also backs up the liquid in the down comer causing an increase in liquid hold up on the plate above to reduce the flooding or weeping we have to reduce the flow rate of the fluid that that the feed coming into the distillation column we have to reduce the flow rate of the feed to avoid flooding weeping and entrainment so let us give a summary of the topic we discussed now so distillation first initially we have discussed about distillation distillation is the separation of two or more components present in a mixture using the boiling points present in the components of the mixture so crude oil refining is an example for distillation process so distillation column we discussed about uh, the distillation column so in distillation column there is a vertical shell then there are some trays inside the vertical column then there will be a condenser at the top of the column and reboiler at the bottom of the column the condenser is used for condensing the vapor coming at the top of the column and the reboiler is used to vaporize the uh, liquid present at the top of the uh, present at the bottom of the column so then the products of the crude oil we are having some eight certain products which are comes from the refining of the crude oil so the products are namely lpg gasoline naphtha kerosene diesel and then uh, heavy oil and then residuum a distillation process in an explain explanation manner uh, i can explain you the distillation process further uh, as a summary uh, initially the crude is sent into the uh, preheated in the boiler and then it is sent into the distillation column then it is get separated into nine products and the nine products again sent into the some uh, reforming units in the reformer units naphtha is converted into gasoline and heavy oil and middle oil are converted into some uh, uh, with the use of uh, alkylation units again it is converted into lpg and gasoline residuum is converted into naphthalene and uh, naphtha and gasoline the usage of the uh, cracking unit coker units so then uh, components of the distillation columns we already discussed uh, in the uh, components of the distillation column there will be one uh, uh, one vertical shell then uh, trays and plates in the condenser and then reflux drum and the reboiler and then we discussed about the basic operations and then the tray columns and packed columns we discussed and then in tray columns within tray columns uh, there will be some uh, three trays are used we discussed about three trays sieve trays uh, valve trays and then bubble cap columns 
then in uh, sieve trace there will be drilled holes there and in valve trace the drilled holes will be covered up with valves and in bubble caps the uh, holes will be covered up with the bubble caps all these arrangements are there for increasing the contact time of the vapor with the liquid comes from the top of the column the vapor comes from the downward direction of the column and it uh, it uh, reacts with the where uh, liquid comes from the top of the column so to increase the contact time we are having some plate arrangements in in the as a stoppage to increase the efficiency of the separation process then we discussed about wire and down comer down comer is the inlet pipe that is uh, attached to the both sides of the trace or plates the opening of the down comer is called as uh, wire and the um, down comer is used to reduce the uh, liquid uh, liquid flooding or weeping on the trace uh, thereby when passing the liquid to the down uh, down comer the li liquid gets reduced once the uh, once the surface is reached then the liquid is uh, going into the down comer and it goes to the next tray so uh, to avoid the flooding in a single tray so then we discussed about uh, flooding weeping and then entrainment so flooding is the happens when there is a higher amount of uh, vapor pressure inside the column and the weeping happens when the um, pressure level is lower inside the column so when the vapor level vapor pressure is lower then it is called as weeping and the, when the vapor pressure is higher then it is called as flooding so the to avoid flooding and weeping we can reduce the flow rate of the uh, or you say the crude oil thereby we can reduce the flooding and weeping thank you